It has been more than two months since the Shroom and Doom update, which added many new items to Grounded, gave us access to a new lab, and reintroduced the Broodmother. The developers have said they will be doing less frequent updates in order to add more content in those updates. The next big update is planned for the end of this month, and it's expected to be as big or bigger than the Shroom and Doom update. While no exact details have been revealed just yet, there have been many clues as to what we can expect. In this video, I'll be using what I've learned from the developer live streams and what's currently on the Grounded feature board to discuss what I believe will be coming in the next big update. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure to do so now so you never miss any future videos. Let's get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to discuss the things that could possibly be coming in the next big update at the end of the month for Grounded. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place each one of the things I discuss into one of three categories. First category is going to be very likely. These are things that I will be really surprised if they're not added to the game, so I think they're highly likely to be added to the game, and I'm basing that off of the information received during de developer live streams as well as what's on the feature board on the Grounded website. The next category is going to be likely. These are things that I think have a good chance of be adding to the game in the next big update, but there's not a guarantee. And then the third category is going to be probable. These are things that we know are going to come at some point, but there hasn't been a lot of information about them lately, so there's a chance that they could come, but it's probably less likely than the other things we're going to discuss. So first up on the list is going to be the Haze area, and specifically the Haze Lab. So in the Shroom and Doom update, we were able to gain access to the Haze Lab, but if you've been through it, you'll probably realize that there's really not that much in there. Basically what they did was they opened it up, they added a couple of rooms in there, uh, you can get a chip from there in order to unlock most of the stuff, most of the building things that were added in the Shroom and Doom update. There's a couple of uh, raw science things you can collect inside of there, but beyond that, there's not much. And there definitely looks like there's room for expansion. And during some of the developer live streams after the Shroom and Doom update, they've mentioned that the Haze Lab is not complete and that there will be more added to it. So I'm expecting because they've been focusing, because they added that most recently and because they've been talking about it, that the Haze Lab will probably be completed in the next big update. They also uh, if you're unaware, have set the updates used to be coming either monthly or then bi-monthly. Now they're coming probably like every three months or so. So what they wanted to do is they want to make sure that the updates that come are more impactful and add more to the game. So it's not just like one or two things. They're adding a lot more uh, things that will actually impact your gameplay. So that's why I think the Haze Lab will be finished. And then to go along with that, another thing I think is very likely to be added is new insects to the Haze area. So the developers have also mentioned insects. They're going to add more insects to the Haze area. So there'll be infected versions. Currently, there's infected weevils and infected mites, so they're on the smaller side. There has not been any talk about exactly which uh, other insects will be added to the haze area, so I don't know if I want to speculate on that. I'm really just hoping that it's anything but a wolf spider, because the last thing I want to see is an infected wolf spider. I guess that probably there's, it's likely that maybe we'll get ants or um, maybe ladybugs or gnats or something like that, or, because those, uh, those, those, things, those bugs do wander around the yard. I'm not sure if the, it would make sense to have stink bugs in there because the stink bugs produce stink and they don't take damage from it. And the the um, the bombardier beetles also, there's a bunch of them that are like on the edge of the haze and they're not currently infected. So I don't know if those would make sense. Who knows? Maybe they'll add new insects, but those will definitely, I think, be coming in the next update. So those are the two things that I think are very likely. And I put those in that category because I think that it's almost a guarantee that they will be coming in this next update. Next up on the list is going to be likely. So likely things are going to be at least one new anthill. So the developers have said that they're going to add additional anthills into the game. And I don't addition, they, it says anthill, so it's plural. So if you look on the, the feature board, you're going to notice here it says additional anthills. They're not currently colored blue, but then again, a lot of these things in blue have not, there's not really, really, really any talk about them. So I think they're going to add at least one in the next update and then maybe, maybe add another one, maybe add future anthills with each other update, like every couple months. That would be interesting because... They've said they're going to add more, um, and it would be cool if they maybe all link together somehow, so you could just go across the entire yard underground in the anthills. That would be pretty interesting. So with the addition of possible new anthills, I think there's also a chance they might add the black ants into the game. And this is a still shot I took from the Shroom and Doom update trailer. And what you'll notice in this picture is there's quite a few things that are not in the game currently and were not added in the Shroom and Doom update. And one thing over here is going to be that Pete over here is wearing a... It looks like an ant helmet, but it looks like it's from maybe a black ant. So we do know that black ants are probably coming in the future. So if they add additional ant hills, it might. Or if they add another ant hill or more than one ant hill, it might make sense to have different ants in the ant hills. So this armor right here to the left looks like it's probably from a black ant. This is a different shield too. Maybe that also comes from the ants. I'm not sure. And I can't really see the shin pads down here. Maybe they have like a full. Maybe they'll have a full set because actually the shoulder pads here look like they're black as well. 
So we could be getting, if we get black ants, we could also be getting a full set of uh, black ant armor. And the fact that they've already done the artwork for it, even though it's kind of looks exactly like the other ant armor, it's just a different color. If they've already worked on this, that could be uh, leading to the fact that they will be adding black ants either in the next update or maybe the one after that. And then along the lines of this, uh, also on this picture you're going to see over here, we do have this witch hat, which I have no idea what that is or what that would even be from. Um, that almost looks like it could be the eye of maybe a some kind of insect or something like that, but I don't even know. I, I, don't, I can't really speculate on anything what that would be made from. Maybe that comes from a boss or something like that, kind of like the, uh, the mask of the mother demon. But over here on the right, you're going to notice that Max is wearing a type of armor that we've never seen before. And what this looks like is it looks like it's kind of like plated armor. And that lets, leads me to believe that Roly Poly, who has uh, long been talked about coming to the game, he's currently the, it's, it's currently the uh, top thing on the feature board, might be coming to the game sooner rather than later, maybe in the next update. Because Roly Poly, if you're not aware, is a it's kind of like a nickname for pill bugs. So pill bugs are these little bugs that look like they have armor plates that kind of look like this. And it would make sense if this was actually the armor from a pill bug or the Roly Poly. So I think there's a good chance that Roly Poly might be coming in the next update. If not that update, maybe we'll have maybe it'll be added in the one after it. It will be interesting to see how the uh if the black ants and the Roly Poly come, how they'll behave. Uh like right now with the ants, we have the uh, worker hand ants are neutral, which means they won't attack you unless you attack them, while the soldier ants are aggressive and they will attack you. Not sure about the pill bugs uh how they'll behave so it'll be interesting to see what which category these fall under whether they're i would imagine they'll probably either be neutral or aggressive i can't imagine they'll be passive and with the pill bug with it having like this armor plating on it um there's a good chance that it might be sh harder to kill than the ladybug so it might actually i'm assuming this is probably going to be a higher tier armor than the ladybug armor and perhaps the ant armor will be maybe it'll have some of the functionality of the regular ant armor but then also have uh, more armor because the ant armor that's currently in the game while it's great for moving around resources of building and stuff like that and also traversing the ant hills without being attacked um it provides almost no defense i think it's like a half a point of defense so it's not really useful outside of uh some some very specific situations and hopefully the roly poly armor will maybe have some kind of unique bonus to it um that we haven't seen before but this looks like the coolest armor kind of looks like it's roman gladiator armor so those are the things that i think um are likely to be added but there's not a i'm not extremely confident in it so once again, it was more, one, a new ant, at least one new ant hill, the black ants, and then the uh, roly poly. Now's the uh, final category. This is the one where there's the most things. And what we're, what I'm, first up on the list is going to be a better way of getting crow feathers and charcoal chunks. Now this might fall into the likely category. This is the first one I put on possible. So the ones in the possible are the I put them in order of I, I think they're, that they're most likely to be added. So right now they have added, so you can get crow feathers from the crow. The crow drops a large crow feather or has a chance of dropping it when it's flying back and forth between its perches. And it also, ha it, will, it will always drop like a small feather when it takes off or when it lands. And that gives us a better chance of getting them, but there's still not a great way of getting them. And because crow feathers are mainly used for cosmetic stuff, like building pieces, I th and the dev developers are definitely aware that one of the, players gripes currently is that getting crow feathers consistently and getting a lot of them especially if you want to build a lot of stuff out of the crow feather roof pieces is very difficult they've talked about adding new ways of getting them so i think that's i think that's there's a chance that that's going to come in the next update that would be great because that would be a great quality of life improvement the second thing that goes along with that is charcoal chunks right now there's only four charcoal chunks there's two up by the grill and there's two uh below the grill down in the dry grass they did put a hot fix in that makes uh, a guarantee that the ch one of the charcoal chunks or maybe two will respawn every, I believe it's like eight in-game days or something like that. So there is a guarantee that they will respawn. Prior to that, there was only a chance they would respawn. So I know on our main survival role, we went probably like 20 or 30 in-game days before the charcoal chunks respawned because we were checking every single day. And I think what they're going to do is they're going to eventually move the grill back to the previous location where it was located over by the picnic table and maybe have uh, the charcoal chunks possibly be like um, maybe not as not as prevalent as the acorns because acorns I think respawn every day but maybe be something like that where there's charcoal chunks on a more consistent basis that way you can just make more ovens out of them I would expect that they're probably going to start using they'll probably use charcoal chunks for additional uh, crafting recipes in the future so right now they're only really used for ovens to make the mushroom bricks which again that's all kind of cosmetic stuff also to cook the uh, broodmother BLT but that's a uh, that's more of a one-off thing so 
the crow feathers and charcoal chunks right now at this point until they add additional crafting recipes for them are mainly used for cosmetic of course the crow feathers are needed to make the crow crossbow and the marksman hat cap so they are used for some weapon one weapon one armor but mainly they're used for cosmetic stuff and then the grinder of course to make the uh slurries so i just think those are those are possible to be added in the next update i expect them at some point to be updated uh, next on the list under the possible category is going to be new burgle quests so if you've been playing the game since launch you've probably burned through every single quest multiple times I played it at launch, then I took a break from it, came back to it a couple months ago, probably about a month before the Shroom and Doom update. And within about a month, we had done all the, we did all the quests that were in the game that were unique, and then we've been doing the repeatable quests. So at this point, we have tons of raw science, and uh, we're just looking for new quests, because now if we go to Burgle, basically everything is a repeat. It's either uh, kill five of these insects, or um, go collect something. It's basically, they're basically the same things over and over again. And uh, there's definitely, like, on the, the feature board, it does say that they're going to add additional burgle, burgle quest types, so that'd be really I'd be really interested to see these be added, because at this point, the last update was mainly focusing on building. It did add the, uh, the beginning of the Haze Lab and then the Broodmother, but the primary focus of it seemed to be on additional building pieces, which is cool. I like building in survival games, but I'm definitely looking for the next couple updates to hopefully focus on more of uh, advancing the storyline or at the very least giving us some type of progression so that we're completing more quests, unlocking more crafting recipes for like weapons and armor and stuff like that. Uh, next on the list I think is possible is one to two mutate one to two new mutations. So the Shroom and Doom update added Mom's genes and Mithridatism, which were unlocked by uh, basically they're focused on the spider battles. So Mithridatism, you uh, get it will give you poison resistance from the sp wolf spiders and the brood mother, and then the mom's genes will have a chance of spawning in spiderlings if you uh, when you when you're attacked. And I think there's probably I would I would expect two to be added. One I think definitely should be added next. I haven't heard anything about it. Would be a sword sword mutation. So if you're not aware, currently all of the weapons except for the larva blade and mosquito needle have buffs to them. So if you equip at one point, I th people thought that the uh, that some of the other ones buffed the those two weapons, but I actually tested them out, and you do not unlock them, nor do you get a buff from equipping any of the other current mutations that are in the game for the Larva Blade and the Mosquito Needle, both of which are so they look like they're swords. So I would expect a sword mutation to be added. There could uh, it's likely that another one would be added. I'm not sure. Maybe it'll have something to do with the Haze area because there was nothing unlocked in the Haze area. So maybe there'll be something along those lines. Although we already do have fresh, what is a fresh defense, which um, we unlock, which you unlock, which protects you uh, from the stink bug damage and also from the bombardier beetle acid. So uh, fourth thing on my list of possible things that might be added in the next update are the ant queen. So the ant queen is listed under the plan stuff here on the feature board, and there's been a, a little bit of discussion about her, not a ton. But with talks of the black ants coming and additional ant hills, I think it would make sense to add the ant queen. The ant queen I would expect to be the second boss in the game, or a or a second boss in the game. Not saying she would be uh, above or below in terms of difficulty of the brood mother. And I would expect at some point they're going to add her into one of the ant hills, and she'll probably drop something special. Um, maybe maybe some kind of ant armor or something like that will be unlocked by vanquishing her kind of like when we uh when you take when you kill the brood mother you get the ability to craft the club of the mother demon and the the was it the mask of the mother demon so maybe killing the ant queen will give us some type of a uh, black ant armor or some other type of crafting recipe that would be cool so i think there's a chance she could be added in the next update uh next on the list is going to be the story act one so story act one is on the feature board right underneath a roly-poly and i really think at this point the game's been out for more than a year it's been about what 14 months as i'm recording this and the story doesn't really progress very far so basically you without avoiding spoilers you basically just have to go talk to burl you you fix burgle talk to him he gives you some quests and you go to these different labs and the story progresses a little bit but it you, you just really you really quickly if you focus strictly on the story you can pretty much get through everything in a very short amount of time that was my main gripe when the game released uh into early access back last summer we were able to do everything within like an hour or two, something like that. It was probably less than an hour. And then there was like nothing left to do. And at the time, there was really not much else to do. They've added a ton in the last year. So there's a lot of building stuff. There's a lot of things unlocked. So there's much more time now because when we started back up uh, a month or so ago, it did take us probably about 
a good solid month, maybe month and a half of playing a lot pretty frequently, like a couple, day, couple days a week for a couple hours to unlock everything in the game. So I think adding Story Act 1 would make sense. I really hope that comes, if not in this update, the one after it, because I'm really getting antsy about not being able to make progress. I kind of feel like we're at a point now where we're basically just building stuff for the sake of building stuff. And being able to progress the storyline, unlock new stuff would be uh, amazing. And with that would be, the next thing would be new crafting stations. So new crafting stations are on here. We have additional crafting stations. So the Shroom and Doom update added the grinder and the oven. Those are two new crafting stations. I don't have any, I have no idea what else could possibly be added at this point. Uh, if you can think of anything, let me know down in the comments below. But new crafting stations would definitely be amazing. Just kind of so like that we have a, a sense of progression where it's like you have to unlock, you have to unlock this. So we, you have to unlock the workbench to be able to craft this, to be able to craft that. We kind of have that right now. The the uh, grinder was needed to make the slurries, which are you need to uh, you need to use inside the oven. So it's kind of like a little bit of progression progression system there. So I definitely like to see like an additional like another tier of um, crafting table. Maybe you need a higher level workbench or something to craft the higher tier armors and just make it a little bit more difficult to get because. Right now, it's pretty easy to unlock most of the stuff. Um, it's either unlocked by discovering things or by just uh, buying it from Burgle. Uh, next up on the list is going to be a sandbox update. So the sandbox environment's here, and you also notice the haze environment's underneath of it. It's kind of interesting that the haze environment is not in blue because they have been working on it with the... Um, maybe they're just not updating the color coding on here because nothing's really changed in the last couple months. But right here is the sandbox environment. The sandbox is real close to the haze area, and it's currently empty. Uh, apparently in the past at some point there was something in it there was some stuff in there now it's completely empty um so the sandbox it would make sense if you're going to do the haze environment to maybe start completing stuff like that's next to each other so the sandbox will be right next to it so it'll be interesting to see if they add sand into that if they if they do add some if they do just put sand in there they could also add a couple new um insects in there that would be pretty interesting maybe like a centipede or some other kind of bugs that you would find inside of uh inside of a sandbox and then the final thing on the list is going to be the lab that's on the retaining wall i don't know exactly what it's called i don't think i see it anywhere on on the uh feature board and i've never actually heard anybody call, i don't think it's been referenced it ha might have a name if it has a name let me know down in the comments below but there's a lab that's on the retaining wall that's over by the right side of the map where the a bunch of the orb weavers are so if you uh where the koi pond is just south of the koi pond where all those orb weavers are along that wall there is a door that's up there that has a lab you can, if you go into camera mode, at least you used to be able to in camera mode, you used to be able to see inside of it. And there was just like a blue, there was a berry in there that had like a face on it or a mouth on it or something that looked kind of crazy, but there was only like really one room. So that's probably, I would expect the next lab to come because, and it may be the final lab. I'm not sure. I mean, they haven't, there's other areas they haven't finished like the sandbox and the, where the grill is up by the shed and then the, the higher part of the koi pond. And then also over by the picnic table, all those areas still have room for things to be added. There's probably other places too, I'm forgetting. But that is the that is another lab door that's on the map currently. So I would expect that that will be the next one in the list to come after the Haze lab. So it's possible they might do what they did with the Shroom and Doom update. Maybe they finish the Haze lab in this one and then give us access to like the first one or two rooms of, the, of that lab and maybe put a new Burgle chip in there that unlocks more stuff. Or maybe they just save it for the next update after that. I'm not sure. That's everything I can think of that could be added in the next major Grounded update. If there's anything else you can think of, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to click the like button as it really helps my channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.